What's up guys? Welcome to your 195th Android tutorial for the new boss. What we're going to do in this tutorial is just add that jar, add those resources that we downloaded in the last tutorial. Um, so again we can add ads to our application and uh, you know just get things going, add in the permissions that we're going to need uh, to you know uh, to produce the ads and we actually obviously we're gonna have access to the internet and also the network state so we can keep track of you know the clicks and all that good stuff but uh, if you guys don't like watching videos you know this is probably the worst time to tell you this since it's basically at the end of the series but uh, you know if you would rather like reading you can click this link here and this is basically what we're gonna go through is uh, all this stuff but if you just like watching videos like myself instead of you know reading and uh, you know just follow along but if you ever get lost uh, just double check with you know this site here but again we downloaded at least I downloaded the SDK through Eclipse so all we have to do is access that and add that jar to our project so we're gonna right click on the new boss and package that or whatever package you guys are adding uh, add mod to and we're gonna go down to properties Once we open the properties, we get something like this. We're going to go to Java Build Path. And we're going to go into our project or our libraries, I mean. And we're going to say Add External Jar. Because again, we downloaded the SDK, which has a jar um, that we need. So we're just going to say Add External Jar. And we're going to refer back to wherever we downloaded the SDK. Or if you guys downloaded uh, AdMob off their website, you know, find that download and open that there. But again, I downloaded the SDK within um, my hard drive, so I'm just going to open that up and find the Android SDK uh, for Mac or wherever you guys, again, downloaded the SDK. We're going to go to Extras, and then we're going to go to the Google tab or the Google folder, and we have uh, AdMobs Ads SDK right here. We're going to open that up, and here's our jar that we want to look for. So we're just going to add this jar to our application again, so we can use the methods and all the great stuff, uh, all the great stuff it has to offer. So we're just going to click that and hit open. And now, as you can see, it added it to our project. We're just going to hit OK. And over here, we have this new reference libraries uh, that we, you know, have our AdMob SDK located within, and we have all these classes that we can use now. All this new great stuff. Um, so. There we go. We've added our jar to our application. Now all we do, now all we need to do is add the permissions. So we're going to go into the manifest, and we already have the internet. But uh, just to um, emphasize, you guys need the internet one. So if you don't have an internet application and you haven't been following this project exactly, make sure you add the permission for the internet. And I'm just going to go down to the permissions tab as well. As you can see, the internet's there as um, also. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say add and we're going to say uses permission and then we're going to go down and we're going to find access network state um, that's another permission we're going to need for AdMob so we're just going to click that and save our project and then just maybe double check go back to the XML make sure that new permission is in there as well so we need the access network state and the internet so those are the two permissions we need for AdMob and we've set up our jar. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reference um, those methods and how to set up and add within your application. So I'll catch you guys in and have a good one.